so here we are at the corona side and i am going to uh, go to every pc uh, you know like do my usual process log on to the windows using remote desktop computer and navigate to the program files corona directory and dr server and click on the dr server exe and allow the dr to pass through my uh, network uh, i am going to set the max directory size to 25 gb and then i am going to click on this you know like start 3ds max so that uh, the dr server for the current version of max remember what version of max you have you have to click on it and then uh, select and run the selected version and you can see the you can see the errors or some sort of uh, message that is going to pop uh, you can visually see uh, it here so I am going to do this for all of the computers and remember that when 3ds max start and uh, it shows this message and I am going to set this uh, directory size and uh, click on the dr server and start the dr server on all of the uh, remote machines that I have here and you can add as uh, many computers as you uh, want now i went through all of the computers and i started the dr server and the 3ds max version according to the to the server and now all of the uh, computers are ready to accept the uh, render job so here we are in 3ds max it's the same scene that we have used for uh, V-Ray and uh, I am going to use the Corona converter to convert this scene remember my point is to show you the uh, DR distributed rendering or network rendering not to show you not to show you the pretty renders so the scene has been converted to corona render and first uh, step that we have to make sure that we have to switch the render to corona and I might pause and see if some errors have uh, popped up or something like that and I am going to set up the noise limit to 3% and I am going to press shift T to open up the asset tracking dialog box and remember the first thing for distributed rendering in my opinion uh, remember that Corona and v, uh, V-Ray both sends assets over the network to the computer but I am not a big fan of that process since uh, it takes so much time to uh, send assets to those computers and uh, the network path has already been set from the previous uh, video but I am going to do this process once again so you have to first share the project folder uh, by going into the windows so to set up the uh, network path you have to make sure that the folder has been shared on your uh, local network so you have to right click and click on properties and click on sharing and advance share and you know like share this folder uh, and give permission to full control read change 
etc and click on ok and after uh, this folder has been shared when you press windows r you can type in the address for the remote computer in my case this is my main computer uh, which ip is set i have set to 101 so i press ok and this window pops up and this is the folder that we have shared and i am going to navigate to the uh, texas path and copy this path and paste this path by right clicking and set path and then select the path and click on paste and click on ok so this way that it ensures that the assets can be found on your local network and the corona render does not have to you know do not have to send these assets every time you click render to the slave machine so that the process can be very fast and remember you have to do this for the IES files as well and you have to keep your projects organized like uh, I am using the default 3ds max directory structures uh, structure but uh, you have to uh, you know be organized uh, about your project if you are not organized you cannot uh, do the distributed rendering and uh, I have e even set the render output path as a network path and I am using this render output folder uh, but I am using this through a network render path so uh, now that this process has been done the texts have been sent correctly uh, we have uh, shared the texts through windows now the second thing you need to do is you know click on your render setup dialog box and go to the system tab and in this distributed rendering checkbox click on enable and uh, corona uh, is you know very straightforward you can just search land during render and you know just click on search land and corona will automatically find uh, the servers remember that the servers that we have uh, started and corona will automatically find these servers so you can click on the render button the process for corona render is fairly straightforward you can check either your uh, computers over here or uh, you can go to the uh, dr tab and you can see that the uh, uh, computers uh, yet uh, you know like uh, what is the process for the scene what computer is processing uh, what computer is uh, processing how much data and how much passes uh, have been done by uh, what computer so all of these processes can be seen here or by uh, going to your uh, uh, network uh, computers remote computers and you can see if i open up the uh, task manager here you can see that the cpus are 100 percent so this is not the case for v-ray because uh, v-ray still has an issue with the progressive sampler and uh, corona uh, uses progressive sampler but it has no issue it uh, uses full 100 percent cpus and you can see if i open up the dr server and all of those machines the cpu and memory has been uh, has been utilized to full uh, 100 percent corona uh, distributed rendering is fairly straightforward and uh, easy to use and here is the status like what is your target noise level and uh, how much time it is going to take uh, to 
complete this render I am going to go to the uh, DR server and you can see that uh, uh, you can see uh, what the process of uh, the computer uh, how many updates or process uh, it has done and and we can uh, check the task manager the, the CPU and the amount of memory that uh, is being used and what sort of a process is uh, going on in the slave but uh, usually I rely on these numbers because I know that the DR server is running so let me just wait for the uh, render to finish and I will show you the finished version of this render now you can see the updates and passes uh, of all of the computers that are uh, doing the uh, rendering jobs by the way you can hover over the selected computer and see its ip and you can see that i am using the naming convention from dota 2 uh, because uh, uh, and I uh, you can see my other videos uh, how to set up the hardware for uh, doing network rendering uh, I did explain very thoroughly how to set up the network what to purchase what computers are best and you know like budget wise and performance wise so I am going to uh, press stop and uh, you can see the point uh, that I uh, demonstrated here so you can add as many computers as you, you want uh, in uh, your network and they will show up here and start rendering the process